Hello YouTubers, uh, Tross here, back with more Kerbal Space Program. Uh, we left off last time, um, sitting here in the poles of Duna. Duna. Minmus! Why am I thinking of Duna? Actually, I'm thinking of Duna because I was just, uh, looking at some of the available contracts, see if we have any more... Easy ones like plant another flag at Minimus, but we don't. But there was for exploring Duna and Ike. Uh, we are <laughs> obviously not going to do that in this episode or uh, anytime soon, really. Um, so, here we are on Minimus. Um, pretty much full of science. I was thinking of possibly heading home. Um, we're here on the South Pole. But it is a long way back. Let's pop this up. And since we're here, I don't think it's going to take 464 fuel to get home. I'm thinking it may take closer to 300 fuel. In, in fact, it may not even take that. Um, it seems like we're currently getting a meter per second per unit of fuel with our current weight. We actually may be doing better than that. Uh, I think that was what I noticed earlier when we were uh, first landing. And seeing we only need about 150 to reach orbit, and I don't think we need to hit 300 to get back... Um, if you recall last time when we tried to land here, we wound up in various other strange biomes and made, had to make a, a uh, two small hops actually before we uh, actually landed in the polar region, uh, which is where we are currently. I'm thinking of trying to head up towards the top of this hill over here and hoping that that will be the slopes. Uh, because that would be great. We'd have to reset all our experiments um, before <laughs> reading from them, but uh, I think that's something we would like to try to do, just so we could maximize our science potential just before heading home. Um, so I'm going to do that. I'm not sure what direction that is. Um, in particular because I'm not sure which direction we're facing. Um, so basically I'm just going to slowly lift off and then uh, press some keys <laughs> until we're tilting the way I uh, think we should be going. I'm hoping that's north, but I'm not sure that it is. Um, and I'm not even sure which direction the sun is right now. Um, so let's let's do this. I'm gonna lift off in uh, let's turn on ICS in three, two, one. Um, okay, it's kind of this direction. And I'm gonna say that's good. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna bring it down to about 15. Oh. Alright, so we're coming down nice and slow. Oh, that's back on. Always forget that. If that hits orbit, uh, we are basically coming in at an angle, so.
Alright, turning on RCS, slowing down to about a meter per second. Okay, we have touched down. RCS is kind of holding us at an unnatural angle, so we're just gonna toggle it on and off. So we tilt over slowly. And I think we're safe, we can turn it off. RCS is probably might be still holding us. Um, <laughs> but that's a good thing. All right, we're gonna send Bob out and hopefully he'll take a EVA report and tell us what biome we are in. Um, EVA report. Okay, we are still in the poles and that's kind of unfortunate. I was hoping we'd be on the slopes here. I mean, that looks pretty sloped to me. Um, so we already have most of that science. <laughs> Apparently that was a flying over the uh, poles instead of a, on the surface. So apparently that was different science. Um, I wonder if I want to risk it uh, to head in that direction. You know, we got a little bit of time here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. Uh, no, no, other, other, your other sideways. slowly slowing. Turning on RCS now. Alright. Reset. Reset. And I think we're good for turning off. Now, definitely less sloped here. But, uh, let's see what this counts as. We're, uh, almost three kilometers from our, well, previous, where we started this episode. Uh, it didn't mark our previous position. And <laughs> we're still in the poles. Alright, this won't count. Um, yeah, this is just above. All right, let us board, and uh, before we do get bored, I think it's time to head back. Um, I'm not saying this is a problem, oh, there we go, per se, but it's really hard <laughs> to get an equatorial orbit from here. Um, so if the sun's that way, that means Kerbin is that away. Um, I'm going to make a quick save here. Just in case. I don't think... I'm really hoping we don't need it. <laughs> um, but we want to head in that direction. So let's lift off and look at that dust plume. And because the gravity is so low here, we can basically just kind of head horizontal and yeah, let's thrust a bit more, get about 10 kilometers up. I 
All right. I actually happen to turn in the opposite direction, pretty much, from Minmus. Minmus. From Kerbin. It's actually in that direction. There it is. I should have looked. I did see it earlier. That's okay. We will go around the planet once. Planet. Moon. Body. Whatever. <laughs> so I am going to do a burn. That's probably too much. That will achieve orbit. And then if we... Oh, we are now literally crossing the pole. You saw the uh, nav ball there spin around. Alright, so this is one planned burn. If we then add another maneuver approximately here. Um... Well, we can, well, we don't want to do that. <laughs> Alright, so we want this as small as possible while still leaving Minmus, and that will take us out to there. Um, so then approximately there which is four days, we then want to slow down. Okay, this is... this is not good. Um... Yeah. How can I rotate? Basically, yeah, <laughs> that's not a good maneuver. Basically, because of our angle, that is putting us out in front of Minmus. So then, when we uh, try to slow down, we catch back up to Minmus. Uh, so really, we want to come out that way. burning that's not really helping. However, um, that is again, that's three days away. So if we add a maneuver here and slow down, no more running into Minmus. And that's a good thing. At that point, we just want to get into the atmosphere about 40, 35 kilometers. Ooh. Uh, okay. That's not a problem. <laughs> it's an interaction with the moon, but it's on the way after Kerbin, and, uh, well, the plan is to have Kerbin slow us down a whole lot. So we're just planning to get down 50, I'm going to say, yeah, 35 kilometers. Of course, this is our third burn in a series of burns, so we're going to have to make some adjustments uh, afterwards. But that should slow us down enough uh, that we land. And look at that, I missed <laughs> I missed my first burn. We are now uh, descending, but only just. Uh, come on, hold, hold this. And that camera flipping around like that means we are in orbit. Uh, let's go into free cam. So, we have a... Well, 
Why does that look completely wrong? <laughs> I'm gonna not touch that until after uh, our burn here, our next burn. Um, really hoping this will rank up Jeb so we can say just target that node and he will and this definitely he was just a little XP away so hopefully flying out here to Minmus walking on the surface got him the XP he needed actually I'm really hoping all of these guys have enough XP to uh, level up because we can do some interesting things uh, in a little bit, uh, especially if we have upgraded scientists like Bob. Hopefully, uh, we I believe we actually already may have unlocked the science lab, so I really would like to get one in orbit. But that'll be for... Um, well, I won't say next time. That'll be soon. <laughs> Alright, so we're coming around here. Um, I'm gonna just say warp to next maneuver. And that should take us over the surface here. Over the pole there as the camera flipped around. Here we are, one minute before this burn. Uh, let's just double check everything is A-OK. -okay. okay, that does look correct. We'll be coming out here, but we'll actually be sliding along here. I think in... <laughs> Kerbin reference, we'll, we'll work it all out. The important thing is just to get away from Minmus. Alright, so we have uh, about 15 seconds to this burn. Um, I'm going to start it, well, let's say now. And we'll just thrust a little bit Timing doesn't have to be so exact. Three, two. Um, I think we overdid it a little bit, but by like two meters a second, so that's not too bad. Okay, that that looks a lot better. We still have plenty of fuel. In fact, we have more fuel per meter. Per second then we need to burn as long as we're burning less than one which I really should have noted that <laughs> um, and then, then we're good so here we are let us uh, time warp away They should be uh, rotated here, something like that, so our solar panels can face the sun and keep us all charged. That's pretty good. So here we go, we're leaving Minimus. Uh, we just passed over the pole again, so the camera spun around. So even though it's got pretty low gravity, because it is so far from Kerbin, it, it does have a decent 
sized gravity well. And you see we're we're pretty far, but we're still within its effective gravity and actually will be for quite some time, although you can see we, we are now traveling pretty slowly away. Why do we have to do a 200 meter per Well, that's our orbit relative to Minmus. We actually do have a lot of velocity compared to Kerbin. Alright, there we go. In fact, um, how far? We're a whole day away. Uh, let's, let's adjust this burn. So we don't need it, well, we don't need it to be a whole day away. We, we can add a maneuver here. Uh, let's click that. Pull up our periapsis. And we want that about 35 kilometers. So it's down to a million, half a million, 100,000, 50, 27, that's too low, 32, we don't want to go too low. Um, I'm going to say 36-ish. <laughs> uh, it's very sensitive. I'm using the mouse wheel on this. And if you go too many clicks at once, it jumps more and more. Um, let's say 36 and a half. That, that looks pretty good. Uh, basically... We're going to drop, so even though it's at 36, because we start slowing down, it's going to fall. I don't want it to go below 30. I'm not sure how much it will fall. Uh, but I think if I go at, let's say, 40 or higher, we're not going to slow down enough, and we're going to skip back out of the atmosphere. And that's, that's not desirable. Um, that's just going to waste a whole bunch of time. <laughs> so... Um, here we are. Let's, uh... Warp to next maneuver. 12 second burn. I think we have 12 seconds of fuel left. Um, in fact, it... We don't have to be exact. Uh, that's gonna be exactly retrograde. So let's just say retrograde. And let's just start the burn now, because, like I said, it doesn't have to be exact exact. Uh, and I'm going to just cut this off when we have just a little bit left. And we're just going to do a little slow burn here to finish it off. Five, four, three, two, one. Point two. Um, point two is good to me. Let's see where that leaves us. Uh, thirty-eight point seven. That, that's fine. Point two is a pretty big point two. You know what? We have RCS to spare. Uh, wow, that was. <laughs> One quick press, and we were already down at like 32. 36, that is great. Let's turn off RCS. Um, let us say... Uh, warp here, nine days. Wow, that is quite some time back. You can see the moon orbiting Kerbin. Okay. <laughs> We're in some weird. There we go. 
So we are coming in. We have not much speed at the moment. Uh, let's turn off these lights. Uh, we're not going to need them anymore, at least. Let's uh, point retrograde so while we uh, don't really need to right now. We're going to need to as we enter the atmosphere, so if we have it set now, it will just automatically turn that way when we come out of warp. How are we doing? It actually looks like assuming we slow down enough here we'll be landing on the day side. Unfortunately, let's see. We're 43 minutes out. Um, we're not going to be landing anywhere near uh, KSC World Space Center, which actually I think is over here somewhere. If I know the uh, globe map of Kerbin at all. Alright, um, getting a little long in this episode, so let's just head back here and let's say um, warp here. Uh, should be just above the atmosphere. Yeah, uh, here's the desert that's the landmass that Kerbal Space Center's on. And, woo. We're actually, uh, well, not above it yet, but there it is. Kerbal Space Center. Those are the mountains just to the west. Um, we still have a little bit to go, so I'm going to manually time warp. I'm going to stop at uh, 100,000. Alright, we are back in the sunlight. That's good. Alright, coming out of time warp. We need to prepare the craft. Now, the solar panels won't fold up. But the gear will. I'm not sure why, but I just think folding the gear up uh, before we jettison <laughs> this is just the right thing to do. We have about 10% of our fuel left. So, um, I think we judged it okay. We could have done one more jump, one more hop, but I'm not really sure where we would go. Uh, we just entered the atmosphere, so I think it's time to uh, get rid of our engine. Um, we still have RCS ability. Let's uh, actually... Probably should go lower. Alright, that's good. Let's turn off RCS. Um, let's... How about use auto camera? Free? Free seems to be good. Where did. Oh, we left. I think that's our engine. We left it. It left us. Well, we moved down and out of the way, but then with a the camera shenanigans. No, there it is. What is that? Is that... There it is. Oh, I think it just went past us. Not sure what that is. But that is definitely our uh, engine. We are getting really low here. 36, 37. Our blader is doing okay. Um, let's turn off RCS because the electric charge was going down. Um, we are not really slowing down as much as I had hoped. In fact, we are beginning to go back up and we are still in orbital speed. Uh, maybe I should have aimed for 30. Um, we've lost about... 70 
ablation points, but that's not quite 10% yet. Okay, we should be slow enough now that uh, we aren't leaving the atmosphere again. And in fact, um, that seems to be the case. We, however, probably won't reach the daytime side <laughs> before we land. Coming down pretty good, although it looks like I'm starting to see the glow of uh, dawn. Let's uh, see how we do here. We're flying. We need to be below 11,000 and going. That speed at that range does not seem like a problem to me. <laughs> um. We're still double that speed, but we're also double that height. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're coming down pretty good, so I don't think we're gonna get into daylight before we uh, land here. Still have re-entry effects, although we're about to go slower than a kilometer per second. See the uh, re-entry effects are slowly switching over to mock effects. Um, which are that? All right, we're in the correct speed range. It says it's risky to deploy them. I just want to make sure we're above uh, safe. Let's go and deploy them, and our test is successful. I didn't quite see at what speed they were safe at. Um, it did not seem like they were much better than the uh, other parachutes, which we are now also going to deploy. Um, I was hoping they could be deployed up to like 700, but it was still said risky. Uh, Alright, our drogue chutes have opened. They've slowed us somewhat. We now going only about 50 meters. And these should, the normal chutes would fully open in uh, 200 meters or so. And they should. There they go. And they have really slowed us down to a nice leisurely um, seven and a half or so meters per second. Uh, so I'm gonna physics time warp here a little bit. How are we doing on... Let's turn off the SAS. Let's turn on the lights. There we go. That was maybe 350, so maybe maybe they're a little closer than I thought uh, when they show up. So I, I like to use the lights, even on the daytime, to get uh, a decent reference for how high you are off the surface. Alright, hopefully, yeah, we're down to almost 7. And that seemed relatively safe. Let's uh, recover the vessel and uh, see how we did. Oh boy. We <laughs> gathered 2,192 and a half science for a total of 2,260 science. Um, that's quite a lot of science. That's really gonna give our space program a boost uh, just briefly scroll through this midlands lowlands poles and just the vessel itself was uh, 37 and a half science uh, we recovered 23 parts and two resources uh, only 41 points, because we are basically, uh, I think, a, more than a third of the way around Kerbin. Should have quickly looked the map where we landed, but, uh, hey, we got 5,000 funds back from the parts. We have over 3 million funds now. It's quite impressive. Okay, Jeb got... 6 XP in advanced level 2, Bill got 8 XP in advanced level 2, and Bob got 7 XP in advanced to level 2. That's really great. And uh, finally, we <laughs> completed the test, the radial mount drogue chute in flight over Kerbin. 
and got to <laughs> free science out of that. Uh, okay, well, uh, this went longer than I had hoped, uh, so uh, I'll just wrap this up by saying uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time with some more Kerbal Space Program. See you then.